Hey guys, welcome. We're doing another deliciousness video today. I am so excited. I will be grilling. I'm going to show you how I get down with my grilling. And if you like this type of content, stay tuned. We're going to talk about the food that we're going to make, how we're going to cook it, how we're going to prepare it. And we're going to do that right now. All right. So actually I, um, marinate part of my food yesterday and um, I decided to get some more things and I'm like, oh man, I got to run to the store because you know how I roll. I like to marinate stuff. So last night I did marinate my, uh, drumsticks. I didn't do the full part, but I did marinate because you know how I love to marinate food to have a little extra pizzazz in it. So today I did run to the store. I got, um, some little thin steaks, which I'm going to cook those. I'm excited about that. Um, I got... A couple of um, little ribs. I love these type of ribs. They are so, 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 so good. They are the um, chuck steak um, with, with the bone in it. They are really good. So I got that. Um, I got some hot dogs. You know, everybody loves hot dogs. So you got to have hot dogs when you're grilling. And then I got a couple of um, New York strip burgers. And I, I was kind of lazy because I had some of these things, but it's more harder to to kind of like do this when you have to, well, when it's frozen rather. If it's frozen, it takes more, it's another process. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and run to the store real quick and get some things. So I got those things today, the chicken I did marinate. Let me show you the ingredients now of what we're using. Then we're gonna get right into the video. Okay, oh, I did forget to mention that I do have some vegetables and that's why I have my sesame sauce out um because i am definitely going to um grill my vegetables in that sauce it is so good you guys it's going to be like mm, delicious and i'm kind of mad because i'm out of some of my sauce and so i'm just like oh boy we're going to go with the floating so these are my vegetables here that i have left over i did buy this one today i had a couple of them left over that i'm going to go ahead and use so let me show you all the meat once more so you can see everything that we are working with. If you are a big griller, give me a thumbs up. Put a little emoji in the bottom of the description. Let me know what your favorite food you like to grill. I'm telling you, grilling is the absolute best. All right, so we're going to get into it. All right, so I'm putting my gloves on. I'm going to be dealing with a lot of meat, and I like to have gloves on sometimes because you got to really wash your hands super, super good. And then by me doing the video and then trying to pause on my own, it's more work. So I've had the gloves on. I can do what I got to do, pause the video, come back to y'all, and we can get this rolling. I'm excited, y'all. So, okay, I'm going to put you down towards the meat so that we can see how we're going to get this process done. We're gonna first take these um, delicious drumsticks and I'm gonna show you how I butterfly cut them to get the flavor in there. It's so good. So when you put in the grill, you'll be like, mm, bon appetit, ooh. So, okay, so I'm gonna put you down here low so we can see that. So here we go. Okay, so I hope you can see that really, really good. So um, get one of your sharpest knives that you use. I'm gonna work with this one and I'm also gonna work with my Pamper Chef one whichever one works good um and if my meat was not just the frost last night i would have also did the butterfly cut with the meat last night and then it would have been even um even more better than what it's probably gonna be today so just take your favorite marinating sauce and um marinate your meat overnight We're gonna drop these right back in there when we finish. Okay, hold on one second. So now this is gonna be super messy. Um, because we're dealing with a lot of different sauces and marinating. So please forgive me the noise that's gonna be kind of like slamming down a little bit too. So let me get one more um plate as well. Okay, so I'm gonna use this plate. Take your meat and try to get in the bone. Cut that wide open. I hope that you can see that real good. That's how you butterfly cut it. 
cut it down to the bone as much as you can. And make sure you take your time because you don't want to cut yourself. So that's a butterfly cut. And on the other side, just get a couple of indents in. Got to be careful though because you don't want to cut your fingers. And you get it right down into that bone. That's how you get that butterfly cut in there. Okay. So you're going to do all your chickens. That way I'm going to do a couple of them on camera. And I'm going to pause the camera and do the rest of You don't need to see each one being done as I'm doing it. I'm trying to get down to that bone. You know. See? I hope my hand not in the picture while I'm doing this. Cut that bone down in there. And that's how you butter butterfly your chicken. Get, get that bone and get that in there real good. Okay, I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> get your knife in there. And you will hear that. You will hear it when you're cutting on that bone. You, you will definitely hear it as you're cutting it. And I'm telling you, it makes such a difference. Oh, my Lord. Because y'all know I'm already a big foodie already. So, <laughs> all food is delicious to me. But it's just how you prepare. I mean, prepare food. Man, that's my dang on jam. I'm telling you, I love cooking. Um, my mom, she used to be a little chef. And she had... A business for many years and maybe that's where I got cooking from but I know my mother used to throw it down so that's why I'm so in love with cooking food and you know I don't want my food just to be mm, I want my food to be delicious delicious so that's what it's about um, and, it, and it can be healthy delicious it don't have to be you know um, unhealthy delicious and it's okay if you can do that but for me I want to eat, you know, as healthy as I can. Low sodium, low fat, stuff like that. Um, got to get in that bone. All right, so that's how you butterfly cut the chicken. And I'm going to put a couple of them right to um, the camera just to make sure y'all see that. And then I'm going to pause it and go ahead and get these cut up real quick so that we can get back to what's going on here in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm back. I have all the chicken that has been butterfly cut. So what I'm going to do is take my season. I'm going to start with this one first. And just use your favorite one. But what you do, you want to get that into that chicken, like right in there, right in that chicken. You want to get it in there. You want to take your hand and, and rub it in there real good. And that and this would have just been so much flavorful if I would have did it last night. But at least I marinate part of it. It's going to make a difference. I'm telling y'all, the flavor going to be like, fantastic. The banging is shenanigans. Oh, my goodness. And get it in there. Get it in. Get in those creases of that chicken. Let me, let me see if I can do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. I think I had my hand covering it the first time. So you open the chicken up. Drop it in there. Rub it. And you got It depends on how many seasons you have, you know. You don't got to get all of it. You can just put a little bit of the other ones in there too as well. So you're going to do that. I'm sorry, y'all, my video going to be long today. I was trying to get all the little details in so you can see. So you can do this yourself, too. Um, I love this one. I have to order some more of this. I'm almost out. I use this Southwestern like every day on day. And see, when you do that butterfly cut, it just gets... Oh my God. Look at that, y'all. Get that in there. Just, just get it in there. I'm telling you, get in that chicken. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. That one 
little bit. Uh-uh. I might have to open this up the other way. This is taking a minute to come out here. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. I even put these on there too. I'm telling you, you will never have to go to a grill restaurant or whatever. You can do it at home yourself. You know what you're putting in your food. I mean, that's just so important. Knowing what's in your food. I mean, that's really key for real for eating more healthy. What you put in your food when you go to restaurants. I ain't saying nothing wrong because I do frequent um, the Cheesecake Factory once in a while. And some a couple of other my um favorite spots, but knowing what you put in your food that helps you a lot. That's why I love cooking at home now. I even get my own seafood and and, and throw down on that too. Sure. Okay. And then then you throw your barbecue sauce on top of it. And I'm going to put it back into the bag. And <clears throat> I don't want to um, do spicy because some people don't like spicy. I do have like a little spice. I forgot some people don't like spicy. So I'm not going to do that for the um, chicken. I'm going to put that on with some of the steaks or something like that maybe. I don't know for sure. Okay, so you got that all done. I'm going to throw it in this bag real quick. All right, so now your meat is ready. Put it back in the refrigerator until you're ready to cook it. And it's, I mean, throw it in the grill and it's ready to go. These are um, the rib tips that I bought with the bone in. We're going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator real quick so we can get to that. Um, I love having a meat, meat, meat tenderizer. That's key. I always go over my meat. Especially if this was a thick steak, my, 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 meat tenderizers, that thing would bang it out, y'all. It would be so good. So, I meat tenderizer first. And yes, you can meat tenderizer with a bone in. Yep. Then you throw your seasons on it. And Mrs. Dash has no sodium, no salt, salt-free, everything. That's why I love. I can be a little heavy um, with that. And then my favorite. Let me do it on both sides. What I might do is just do this. Get that in there real good. Excuse me, sometimes this stuff makes me choke. I apologize. Mm. Okay. Put your pepper on it. Okay. I'm going to do a little mixture. Sweet and spicy on these. Just a little dab. Because I know everybody don't like spicy. But I'm going to do both. A little sweet. And put it in your bag. And that's ready to go. Um, as I mentioned before, doing that meat tenderizer, that is definitely key. And imagine if you did that the day before. My, 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 my. Boy, boy, boy. This is going to be so good. Put this in the refrigerator. And voila. That's done. Okay. And you just do 
your um, thin steaks. And definitely if it's thicker steaks, you might want to do it the day before. But since these are so thin, this is going to be, it's much easier when you're using thin meat. Um, if, if it was thick meat, I would have done it. Um, yesterday. Well, I got it today, so you can't do yesterday, but yeah. So you tenderize that meat. And be careful, these meat tenderizers ain't no joke. They shock. It's so thin, you can just do them together, actually. Chop them together. It's a little messy. Let me see if I can get this um, onion powder open with one hand. Oh, yeah. Hey. All right. So that is done. Put in your bag. Let me get the bag real quick. All right. So I got them in the bag now. I have the um, New York strip burgers. This is my first time doing these. Like I said, I had frozen meat in there and I was like, oh, my God. Um, that's going to take forever to get thrown out. I'm sorry, to throw out. So I went ahead and, um, bought these. They look pretty good. I'm going to put the meat in the freezer. I put two little bags. I hate to waste my Ziploc bag, so I get small bags. So I can just and throw these away real quick. All right, let's finish these seasonings. On both sides. They look really nice too. I hope they are delicious meats. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I put some? I think I did. Yep, I did. I almost forgot. Let me put a little bit of this on the other side. Okay. I like putting a little bit of honey barbecue on my hamburgers. I know you're like, what in the world is she doing? But I'm telling you, that makes the flavor. <laughs> Come out so delicious. Okay, so we get some Ziploc bags for those, and those are ready. Let me put a little oregano leaves on these, and all this is going on the grill. And these are my last little bit Chipotle so I'm Chipotle season. I need to get some more. Oh no, I'm completely out, y'all. This is one of my favorite. I use that to the dry bone. All right, let me go get some bags. I'll be right back. Okay, and then we have the hot dogs last. I don't do a lot with that. I just put a little bit of that in because hot dogs pretty much grill their own self. And then I, I use this. Let me shake it up. I don't have a lot. I need to get back to my little store because I got like a drip left, y'all. But it's so good on hot dogs. 
Okay, I just sprinkle that on there. Let me get a Ziploc bag. Hold up one second, I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm gonna be out of Ziploc bag soon, I'll tell you that much. I think that I need about all of them. And I just take, take them and rub it. You know, just rub it on the leftover sauce you have on here. You don't gotta even put no new sauce. Just rub that on there. Put it on, um, put the Ziploc bag, put it in the refrigerator. It's ready when you are ready to grill. Let me seal that. It's in the refrigerator. Okay, everything is in the refrigerator. We are going to be ready to go. Um, one quick thing I'm going to show you before we go. I'm going to wash my vegetables. You don't need to see me wash no vegetables. Everybody know how to wash vegetables. So I'm going to clean my vegetables, wash them. Um, I'm going to throw the season over them here. And, and put it in, um, excuse me, a bag. Let that um, marinate a little bit. Put a little bit of season on it. And that's going to be it. That's how you pretty much do it. But I did cut these off. And these. And um, keep these. Freeze them. Um, put them in your freezer in the Ziploc bag. Keep them. If you have leftover pieces of chicken that you haven't ate, leftover pieces of onions, mushrooms, whatever you have, keep it, put it in the bag, in a Ziploc bag. Let me show you real quick. And I'm going to show you how you can use that in um, another video if you are interested. Interested, sorry. <clears throat> so this is my bag of all types of things that I have froze and I had um, had. So it's going to go right on in here. And I'm going to freeze it. And I, and I actually have, I think I have two filled bags. So I'll be doing a video soon on how you can use that and what you can do with that. I'm telling you, waste not, want not. This is a time where stuff is so expensive. Um, it's like ridiculous. And I believe in saving as I can go. I do like certain things. And certain things I will, you know, buy because I like. But I love to, you know save money and use what I have. So I'm going to show you that in another video. And again, I thank you for stopping by. I appreciate, you know, everybody who, you know, um, send me little messages and who give me the likes. I appreciate that. I'm a new to YouTube. I just started my page, I think, um, maybe three weeks or four weeks ago. And I have 41 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, <laughs> but I appreciate it. And I thank I thank you guys so very much. I'm just like so excited. I was like, wow, I'm going to get on YouTube and do this. And a friend was telling me, get on YouTube and do it. And I was so scared because I was like, that's a big audience. It's kind of was freaking me out because I have an um, a Instagram page. And I just, I just be like rolling. But here, I just feel like it's so big. I was kind of nervous to do it. But I'm really enjoying it. And I'm really enjoying the people that give me the comments and the little likes and stuff. So, if you like this video, you know, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Peace and love and have a great day. Bye.